Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new around here. Hi, my name is Madeline and I am so happy that you're here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. So if you can't tell by the title of this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what I keep in my backpack as a senior year college student commuter edition. So if you're new to my channel, I am a senior at IUPUI. Um, I'm studying exercise science with a minor in health psychology and personal training. The past three years I have lived up in Indianapolis, but this year I am commuting from home because I just have class less days a week and it's way cheaper to drive up there a few days a week rather than live there. That is why I am commuting. Okay, so my backpack is the new crew backpack by Lululemon. Yeah, I just have it in the black color. I will link this backpack down below. I absolutely love it. It's super comfortable, fits a lot. We're just gonna jump on into what I keep in this thing. So we're gonna start out with the little side pockets. One thing I don't like very much about this backpack, the little like cup holder things in the side are so freaking tiny. They don't fit any of my cups or anything, but um, I usually put my phone and my keys in one side and then the other side I keep my MacBook Air charger. This back pocket is like just a little slit and it is perfect to keep your laptop. I have a gold MacBook Air. Um, it's technically rose gold, but I think the color is gold. Um, I have all these stickers on it. I don't really like my stickers anymore, but I literally have one more year and I just don't feel like replacing these yet. So maybe maybe post-grad I'll get some new stickers or a new case for my laptop. And then there's a little pocket right here in the front and it has a super cute, you can actually um, unclip it and like take this off, but it's a little Lululemon keychain. It just says Lululemon on the side. Super cute, but that's on the front zipper. Um, and I have a little Ipsy bag that has emergency stuff in it. I have a little mini warm vanilla sugar perfume from Bath and Body Works. Warm vanilla sugar, a little hand sanitizer because you never know when you're gonna need some. Mini lotion, you guys guessed it. Warm vanilla sugar again. I have a little Invisibobble hair tie in case I need to pull my hair up because a lot of my classes, since I am exercise science, a lot of my classes we do like active things. So I have to have my hair up a lot because we're like running around or something. And then I have a little pill bottle of Advil and that is all I have in this little front pocket. And then we get into the main, the main contraption, which it doesn't have a whole lot. I used to have like a notebook and a folder for every class that I was in. And I've just started typing my notes instead of writing them. It's a whole lot easier saves paper saves time because i can type way faster than than i can write so it's been a lot better typing rather than carrying all that around in here because it was honestly hurting my back so bad there's a little pocket in like the front flap and then there's two back here i don't have anything in the back too but what i have in the front so i have my motor learning note cards super exciting we're studying neurophysiology right now so fun right and i just have uh, questions, definitions, fill in the blanks, stuff like that just to help me study. And then I have post-it notes. Um, I use these a lot. I make to-do lists and stick them in my computer or I mark up some of my books, which I'll show you here in a minute. I have this adorable little Ipsy bag. It has like ice cream and popsicles on it. And I just thought this was a perfect shape as like a pencil pouch. So I have markers, highlighters, Sharpies, pens, pencils, highlighters, I don't know if I said that or not, all that sort of thing in here, which I don't use this as much since I type a lot of my notes now, but for like my flashcards and stuff, I like having different highlighters and pins and stuff. Then I have my 2022 planner. This is a Happy Planner brand, and it's just this cute little cheetah print print, and it's, it's almost out because the year's almost over. Yeah, there's that, and then I've been working on little weekly spreads just because I think they're fun how freaking cute is that I have some exciting stuff coming up in here so excited well I used to make my little spreads I have these little happy planner sticker packs this is a seasonal one it's almost empty I honestly need to just use it up and throw it away and then I have this is the wild styled one so it just has like cheetah print zebra print black and white it has some like pink in there super cute i love this sticker pack i want to get more because planner stickers are just so fun and i want to make like 
weekly spreads and stuff in my planner. So yeah, it's lots of fun. I have a stapler floating in the bottom. I don't really use this a whole lot. Random pen, I don't even, I don't even think this is mine. I don't know how I inherited that. And I have my little goals book. I actually need to write in this because it is September 1st. I haven't written in this in a while. Detail. I don't think I've written in it since like, yeah, April was my last month I wrote in here. I need to do September because it's September 1st. So I need to start writing this again, but this is by Julia K. Crest. I don't know if she sells these anymore. Um, if she does, I'll link it down below. She sold them on Etsy, so I will link them if she still makes them. And then I have two textbooks I keep in here. They're both by the American College of Sports Medicine, which is who make, makes all my textbooks. And it's actually kind of cool because their building is right off of campus. So it's kind of funny that we're like right next to who makes our book. This is the guidelines for exercise testing and prescription. This is the 11th edition. I have it kind of, I have some bookmarks in here just for different things I need. I use these two books for my internship class where it actually starts here in a few weeks, which is exciting, but I will have a personal training client and I will assess them, do a workout plan, nutrition plan, all that stuff, and then post assess them. So that's what all these exercise prescription tests are for. And then this is the fitness assessment manual, which has all my assessments in it. And I have lots of tabs in here. Um, we just had an exam over this, a practical exam, and then we have a written exam Wednesday. So I've been using this bad boy to study for that. But my practical exam, I already did, and it went really well. I got 100, so have 100% all my classes right now. And then I have a calculator. This is the one my university requires. The last little thing I have in here is just a folder because I do have some loose leaf paper because I have like quizzes and stuff in some of my classes. And I have different like syllabus papers and stuff in here too. Stuff for my internship next semester. Not very organized of me, but I just throw it all in one folder. So I do have it in a folder. That is all I have in my backpack as a senior year college student commuter edition. And if you guys are thinking like that's not really a lot for someone that commutes, um, I take a thousand other bags with me. Like I pack my lunch in a separate bag, I have a snack bag, all the stuff. So um, I don't keep very much in my actual backpack. Um, I could do a video more in depth on commuting, do like a commuter day in the life, whatever, if you guys want to see more of what that is like. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you all in next Friday's video.